got mail. Uh, it's actually a set of uh, Dino Dynamic Dome lights for the interior of your car. But yeah, I've been meaning to uh, swap out the current ones I have, which are basically just a all blue version. And the reason being is they don't really light up the car as much, especially when we having their front windshield tint. Their front windshield tint, that makes the car dark. Here's the dome light where I was talking about. It, it is a bit tricky. You want to try to avoid cracking or breaking the housing. So it's, it's like a pressure point that you got to find. Really, I think you just grab it right here in the middle and just yank down. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. It, okay, we might be. Just one of those down. Get some more light in here. Look at that. See the big difference that makes? Starting to come down, it's popping. All right. Come on. Come on. I think it's just some tabs or clips up here holding it and it's supposed to just pop out. There we go. Now, I actually need to pull this car out a little bit so I can get some more light in here because I cannot see. Okay, that's much better. I can see a whole lot better what's going on. Hopefully you guys can see as well. Get the package open and make sure we first, that we even have the right thing. I ordered this from Dino's Dynamic. I ordered it straight from their website. It cost me around about eight bucks. I went with the LED lighting, the SMD2 LED bulb. Which it should, which it should be the right size. Let's see, let's try to be really careful not to break these. Oh yeah, I can't wait to see the before and after. You just squeeze these clips, these tabs here. Yep, work your way. Look, it's already still loose from last time. I, oh my gosh. The bulb just dropped inside the housing. Great. See if I can get some pliers or something and pull that out. So it's time to make another trip to the garage. Great. Uh, 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 uh. Time to finish the install. I made my shoes things. Woo, look at this garage. There's a lot more space without a car in there. Well, duh. There's no car taking up over half of it. This is what I'm looking for here. Here we go. Hopefully this, this works. All right. It's looking all pretty in the sun. All right, we back. After shaking it for a couple seconds, I was able to get the LED bulb to the end of the housing hole. So what I'm gonna do is, which I don't recommend you guys doing, I'm finna just yank it, man. Let's take a chance with it. Hopefully it comes out. So the first step to install your new LED bulbs and your dome light is to not let the bulb come disconnected from the connector here and fall into your housing because it's just gonna make for a bad day. But here we go. Okay, definitely not gonna work with me just pulling it like that. Pick up these pliers here, grab it, and Try to not to, let's try to, there we go, got it. And yep, these are the same size. These are the same size here. Let's see. So yeah, it's relatively easy. Once you get the whole dome light down and then get the bulb out, really easy to swap in and out. So don't go to no shop and let them charge you a hundred dollars to do this. Just kind of give it a little pressure. And then you want to test to make sure you want to test to make sure that it is well connected before you put it back in. And I must have did something wrong because that one's coming on and off. This is not turning on and off. So what the hell did I do? It might be upside down. So that'll be another way you can tell if you have the bulb in there, right? So let's flip it, put it back in. All right. Let's see. There we go. Y'all see that? Oh, yeah, you can instant tell that's gonna be a hell of a lot brighter. Hell of a lot brighter compared to this one right here. So that way at nighttime when I'm riding and everything, if I wanna talk to you guys, you guys will be able to see me and just an extra light period. So let's get that put back in and let's do a uh, comparison. And it pretty much just slides back in the way you tuck it out. Just, let me make sure this is all the way in this time because I don't need that coming out just in case I wanna change it again in the future. You want to turn it sideways and work it back into that housing. Work. I think I'm so scared that this plastic don't snap or something. So it's that simple. Um, don't be like me and prolong the process. This literally should take you about 10 minutes. What I did was, you see, 
I just pretty much just kept pushing the pliers, and it eventually went in, and it's gonna pretty much snap right into place once it gets in. But let's do a uh, let's do a comparison real quick just to see how big of a difference. Oh yeah. All right. Oh yeah. I mean that's darker, but that one right there I can tell that's gonna be a whole lot brighter. At least I say that now. We'll see once I get in the car at night and try it. All right. Now let's just go ahead and get this other one switched out, swapped out, and we'll be all good. We button her back up. Mm -hmm. Got her. Don't fall off this time like your brother did. Come out, come out. There we go. That was a lot easier. There we go. Blue LED bulbs for sale. $100. It came out of a Shelby GT500, so you know it's legendary. It's very rare. Just hit me up. Hit me up in the comment section. Go to my IG. LED blue bulbs right here. Came out of 2014 Shelby GT500. $100. All right? <laughs> Be crazy to pay $100 for some lights. Like this anyway. All right, just pop this back in. Look, simple as that. Every time I say simple, it seems to be a little bit more complicated. All right, do a test to make sure that it's working. All right, so that's that's not hooked up right. The light's not coming on, so we're going to pull it back out and swap it around. These sides seem to look identical. I don't understand why it matters which side the LED bulb is turned in, but obviously it does. Or this LED bulb just doesn't work because I done swapped it around. It's still not working. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Am I tripping here? Maybe my power to the car turned off all the way. Okay. That's what it was. So yeah, it's on now. I think you get like 10 minutes once the key is turned back off to do what you gotta do before the battery just completely turns off. Yeah, that's good though. We got that all set. Let's put it back in the housing and we'll button it, button it back up and be good. Like I said, I just had to give it a little bit of a little bit of pressure last time to get this back in here. Hope it, there we go. There we are. I tell you, boys. There we go. Finally. All right, there we go. That's the end result here. Wasn't too bad. And let's, uh, basically, there's two tabs right here on each side. And you just pretty much put them back inside these holes up here. Right here. And right there. That's where these tabs, these clips going to go. Well, you want to attach these, you want to attach these right here behind this liner first. So basically it looks something like this. You attach this behind the liner and then you'll pretty much put your hand up here and then put your, put your line up. There we go. There we go. Just like that. That's how you install some LED bulbs in your Mustang. I'm pretty sure it applies with the newer Mustangs as well. I think they have pretty much the same exact housing set up. But the true test is going to be tonight inside the garage. We're going to see how bright they are. Because right now, honestly, I mean, you can tell a big difference. I don't know what it being bright outside. I just, I don't know yet. I just don't know. Hope this doesn't be disappointing. Yeah. Well, let's see what else Dino Dynamics sent me. Got a nice little sticker here I can put on the car. Dino Dynamics. So we got some instructions. They have they carry a three-year warranty on their products. Back every product. That's what's up. These are actually the guys I went with them to purchase my LED headlights and the fall lights. You know the multicolored change changing ones. Matter of fact, these right here. I went with them for that, and that product has been great the last two years i've been running them so as quick as i started it's already over but what i expect i just installed some bulbs <laughs> but hey working on your own car at the best small or big i think i'm gonna get the car back inside the garage though and i will meet you guys here tonight well not here but yeah inside the car but not here where i'm parked at but inside the garage parked there <laughs> doing too much all right just listen to that then you guys walk around this don't never get old man I know you guys enjoy it too
That reminds me, I need to put my I need to put my tag back on. I'm gonna make sure I do that as soon as I park it. Hey, ever since I switched out the magna flows, my car hasn't been nearly as loud, of course, with the stock exhaust on. So now I have to pull inside and close mitts so that my car sound louder. <laughs> Sound a little bit louder. <laughs> I gotta do little tricks like that, man, to make my car sound loud again. Crazy. Well, actually, I can go ahead and wrap this video up now. You know, we're inside the garage right now. So, technically, it's a little bit darker. Well, it's a lot darker in here. And the lights are already making a difference. See, what I should have did was I should have left one of the blue lights in. That way, we could have did a true comparison. Oh, well. Let's just see how much more that this lights up the cabin. I'm going to go ahead and close the garage here. And let's just see. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> check this out. Man, I wish I had a before and after, but you guys check this out, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's still dark as hell back there in the back, but this little area right here in the front... A hell of more, a hell of a lot more brighter. Let's see the true test though. Let's see what my face looks like. I don't know if you guys can see me real well, but this is what it looks like. Hopefully I'll be able to vlog with this lighting at nighttime inside the car. So I don't really know until I get to my editing to see exactly what it looks like. Or actually I can pull it up here on my phone. And it looks crappy. Are you serious? Really? Why? Why though? I think I might know what it is. See over here, we have a control here where we can turn like the lights on and off as far as inside the cabin. And this might be turned down. It is right here. Still can't really see it. It might be turned down, that's why. Let's see if it does anything different. No, that doesn't control that. It just controls this stuff here. All right. Dang it, dang. I don't know. I'm not going to rate this product a bust just yet because um, just because it doesn't suit my expectations, it might still suit someone else's. I mean, overall, I man, it does look good, though. It's just not brightening up as bright as I expected it to as far as vlogging purposes. If you guys have any other LED bulb recommendations, you guys let me know. I need this car to be as bright as possible, especially, like I said, with the tent and everything. I need lighting here. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much how you install the LED bulbs. Doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be happy with what you install, but that's how you do it. Hey, everyone likes a happy ending, but I'm a realist. I'm going to share the good and the bad. I'm not going to always throw content on here that's just always have a happy ending. We all know that's not how the world really works. You guys can always be behind the scenes with me. As far as daily videos or weekly videos that I upload, it's gonna be in this raw form and delivered to you guys. So I just figured that's what works best for me. But yeah, peace.